Should you feed honey to your honeybees? No! No, 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 no. Did you hear I said no? Do not feed honey to your honeybees. Let's talk about it. So yes, that was a little dramatic. And the title of the video is, Should You Feed Honey to Your Bees? And I know I was dramatic, but like I said, I was dramatic for a reason. So let's talk about that reason. So let me tell you a little story. Um, I recently was talking to a uh, beekeeper and they said I was a bad beekeeper. I was very confused. I was like, you know what? There's a lot to learn in beekeeping, but I was curious, why would someone say I'm a bad beekeeper? So then I asked them and they said it was because I feed sugar water and sugar syrup, and in the winter time, I give them sugar candy, which is basically hard sugar with a little bit of water. So I was like, okay. And I think they were confused because sugar water and sugar syrup, sugar candy, that is a um, backup. I leave enough honey for my honeybees for the winter. So I have a deep and then I have a medium and that's actually more than what people in my area do usually. A lot of people do a deep and a shallow. Um, I'm in the mountains of North Carolina so we do get a decent winter but a lot of people around here don't do double deeps. That's more for northern beekeepers. Um, so I explain, you know, I do that as a backup. That is not what my bees are having as their main source of winter food and I'm only using sugar water and sugar syrup after I've harvested. I'm not going to harvest sugar honey. Um, so I was curious, I was like, well, if you don't use sugar syrup or anything like that, what do you do? And this is what they told me. They go to the grocery store and they buy honey and they feed honey back to their bees. That is a giant no, 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 don't ever do that. Don't ever go to the store, don't buy honey from a local beekeeper and feed it back to your bees. That is a big, 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 big mistake. Don't do that. The reason why is because honey carries AFB, American Foul Brood Bacteria. Harmless to people, devastating to bees. Not all honey has AFB, but you don't know if it has AFB or not. It's very hard to test for just, you know, a local beekeeper or a person buying honey. It's not going to harm you at all. Um, we have lots of bacteria that are very beneficial for us, and they may be harmful to other organisms. So AFB is a bacterium that affects young larvae in bees about three days or less. It will infect those bees, form spores. It's called American Foul Brood because it has a very foul odor in its advanced stages, kind of like a stink bomb, like a sulfur smell. And the brood gets really oozy and it's really gross looking. Um, so if you buy honey, and feed it back to your bees, you don't know if it has American foul brood or not. Very dangerous. You could, um, this person could be spreading American foul brood all through my area and infecting other bees and ruining hives for beekeepers. American foul brood, you can't really treat it. Uh, most states require you to burn all of your equipment that was infected with foul brood. There's also um, another bacterium, European foul brood. Um, more common, less devastating. Most bees can actually recover from European foul brood and American foul brood. You basically gotta burn your equipment. So, it's kind of counterintuitive. It would seem like, oh, honey is made by bees. Honey eat, or bees eat honey we should be feeding them honey, right? So I don't really blame that person. Um, 
common sense would maybe say, oh yeah, honey is the perfect food to feed your bees. But really it isn't because you don't know what could be inside this honey that is harmless to people that could be dangerous to bees. There could be other bee viruses that science doesn't really understand yet. Um, the science of bees is a, a pretty young subject and scientists are still learning a lot about bees. There could be viruses, like I said, other bacteria that we don't even know that's in honey. Um, so do not feed honey back to your bees unless it came from your bee yard. And if you can, which some people do this, they will harvest honey in the summer and they will um, just take an entire frame, they'll freeze it, and then in the winter time, they will feed that back to their bees. So they'll switch out an empty frame of honey with a full frame of honey, and they can feed their bees honey in the winter time. Um, I'm a small beekeeper. I'm not established enough to do that, um, but maybe in the future I will do that. But I would never, ever take honey from another beekeeper and especially an unknown source don't buy honey from a store and feed it back to your bees you have no idea what potential devastation you could be causing um i hope i made myself clear i'm trying to help people um and man wow that would be expensive um this is three pounds of honey and I'm sure if you're doing that, you're probably buying the cheapest honey you can, not this nice, beautiful, organic honey. Look at this color. Hopefully you can see how it shines in the light. It really is beautiful. So until next time, sometimes you got to think about what you're doing and you don't know the consequences of bad beekeeping. So hopefully this has been informative. If you disagree with me, please, please in the comments tell me that it's okay to feed honey back to your bees from an unknown source. That's what I'm trying to say. Unknown sources you can't trust. Until next time, keep on beekeeping.